What's up boys and girls, this is Vin Jimfield, hope you're having a smashing day and if not, this episode just might cheer you up. Today I wanted to talk about this fan-based theory that Daniel LaRusso uh, in the original Karate Kid movie in 1984 is not, and I repeat, is not the antagonist. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I made a video recently where I, I shared my thoughts on, you know, the the new continuation, the YouTube Red special uh, miniseries, as it seems it's going to be, uh, Cobra Kai, um, which is going to be about the characters from the first Karate Kid movie, Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence. And maybe some other characters, I don't know. The trailer doesn't reveal that much, but what's clear about it is that it seems that the story will focus on Johnny Lawrence being the good guy, the protagonist, and Daniel Russo is going to be the antagonist. Um, and I, I, I'm not sure I'm interested in watching that, but I will, and I hope that I will enjoy it. But we'll just have to see what my true response will be to that. Right now, I'm just speculating. Um, but I did get a comment recently on that video where I talk about this, and some someone said that that I misunderstood the first movie, that that Johnny Lawrence wasn't like the evil bad guy. He was just a misunderstood kid. Uh, basically, there is this very cute fan-made theory that in the original movie, if you watch it, you can, there are videos on this, many videos in, on YouTube, I'll, I'll put some links in the description, where people basically think that Daniel Russo, the character, he's actually the bad guy of the story. You know, he moves into this new town and he comes in between Ali and um, uh, Johnny Lawrence and he, he takes, steals his girlfriend from him and he antagonizes Johnny and his friends. It's, it's a really cute fan-made theory um, and I can totally see, you know, how people twist the story into looking at it that way. I mean, some have even gone even further and, and basically said that Miyagi is like a demon sorcerer. So, you know, um, it's cute. It really is. And I, and I like it when people do these theories. But, you know, the truth of it is, like, if you, if you really watch the movie, the way it is shaped, it is the shape that Daniel Russo is a new kid in a new town, and these bullies pick on him, and he learns karate to defend himself. Not to kick their ass, but to defend himself. And at the end of the movie... The, the antagonist, Jolly Ra Lawrence, says, you're all right. You know, like, all right, we're cool now. You've proven your point. And that's, that's the positive ending of the movie. You know, he defeats the bad guys. And, you know, so it's, I like it when people do their own interpretations of movies. And... For me personally, I've always been like, no matter if you're reading a book, uh, listening to a love song, or watching a movie, you do your own interpretation of it. And it's not a, fa it's not a matter if it's the right interpretation or not. It's your interpretation. Like, if you watch a movie like The Karate Kid and you feel like, oh, well, it's obviously that Daniel Russo is the bad guy. If that's your take on it, then then that's your take on it. And it's not really right or wrong situation. It, it, it's a piece of art. You're experiencing this piece of art and this is what it means to you. And nobody can take that away from you. Nobody can tell you like, your interpretation is wrong. That's not the way your interpretation should be. You know? It's a movie. It's a piece of art. You know, this isn't a manual how you drive a car because there you really only have one interpretation. But if you interpret it the wrong way, then it means that the person who made the manual made the manual incorrectly. And I think at, in, in this particular case, The Karate Kid, I think most of us pretty much agree on the fact that Daniel Russo is the 
protagonist and he is the guy who's who's the underdog and he's trying to basically just survive and not get beaten up i think that was the intention of the creators and there really is no my take on it is that this is the way it was supposed to be interpreted but still again if you interpret it in a different way that's fine uh, but there is I'm, I think at the point of this story is that this video is that it's really not a matter of right or wrong it's interpretations is the key word here so uh, when people tell me that I've interpreted the movie the wrong way that's when I get a bit like I get a bit cranky because I'm like okay first of all I, I think I've interpreted the way that the makers made it and two it's my interpretation therefore it can never be the wrong interpretation see what I'm saying so um, yeah just uh, wanted to share some of my thoughts on on the subject but I would love to know what you felt about the Karate Kid how did you interpret that first movie you know, who was the bad guy and who was the good guy? Or maybe you interpreted it in a way that nobody was the good guy or the bad guy. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Okay, that was it for today. Thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Okay, that was it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, see that like button, smash it. And I got some freakishly awesome videos coming up. Better subscribe so you don't miss a beat. I'll see you later. Peace.